Tonight's big story, mental health services in New Zealand haven't improved. In fact, some aspects are getting worse. That's despite the government boosting spending in the sector by $1.9 billion. A new report from the Mental Health and Wellbeing Commission says services for youth, Māori and Pacifica are falling behind and more investment is needed in acute services. 1.9 billion, that's a lot of zeros to invest with little to show for it. Health Minister Andrew Little admits his ministry has struggled. I think they've acknowledged that actually there's been a really good start and uh, the right things are happening. We've put a lot into the, the mild to moderate end of the frontline roles there. I think the area that we now need to step up and um, do more for is in, in that acute end. There's a lot of stepping up to be done. Today's report by the Mental Health and Wellbeing Commission found one in five are not followed up after leaving a mental health unit. One in six are readmitted within a month. And patients are actually waiting longer for addiction services. In particular for youth, for Māori and for Pacific peoples, and those areas have fallen behind. And it's going to take years to recruit the hundreds of workers needed to look after the growing number of New Zealanders who are suffering. Well, for more on this, let's bring in the Nationals mental health spokesperson, Matt Ducey. Thanks so much for joining us, Matt. Uh, this was a huge issue. It is a huge investment. It was never going to be a quick fix, was it? No, but I think the Mental Health and Wellbeing Commission evaluation report released today was actually quite a damning report on the government's performance in mental health. Basically, what it said is none of the improvements in men mental health have materialised and you'd have to ask yourself the 1.9 billion for mental health announced two years ago where has all the money gone? Well, where do you think the money's gone? Well that's a good question because the mental health services and groups that I visit say to me they've seen none of the money promised they can't point to where the money has gone and you'd say for 1.9 billion why has it made no difference and why is it still hard to access services? And I think Andrew Little needs to front up and explain to New Zealanders where that money has gone. Well, he is going to be fronting up on the AM show in the morning. But while you have the floor here, tell us what you would do differently then. Well, what was clearly outlined in this report released today, the Mental Health and Wellbeing Commission said it's not just about making announcements, it's having leadership and having a clear plan that would execute change. And what we have under this government, they came into power offering to transform the mental health system, but they have showed very little leadership and we have no plan. Okay, thanks so much for your time.